Great. Welcome, everyone. Um, this is the second episode of Keeping Up with the Coaches. We are with Joe Bennett, who is running for county legislator. Um, so, uh, yep, tune in for the next, like, maybe 20 minutes or so, and you can learn more about him. Um, we're going to ask him a few questions, but first, um, so I'm Brian. This is Ludmila. Um, we're the co-chairs of the Syracuse DSA chapter. And um, yeah, we're just going to do these live broadcasts once in a while. Um, but anyway, this week, it's really timely uh, because we're in the middle of campaign season now. Um, so um, Joe is running for county legislature for District 15. And back in January, the chapter endorsed him. Um, and uh, so a lot of us have been canvassing to petition for Joe to get on the ballot because you need a certain number of petition signatures from the district in order to, for a candidate to be listed on the ballot. And um, so we've been doing that. And so anyway, yesterday I was canvassing and I, um, knocked on a door and turned out to be one of Joe's students, um, former students, who was uh, who took his class when he was teaching at Corcoran. Um, and now she went on and she's an acting major at SU. Uh, but anyway, she had like nothing bad to say. She had only, she was like, she was like, Joe's great. Um, and I don't know, it's kind of cool because I've like, I've kind of met a couple of Joe's students and you never hear anything bad. Um, so we're gonna ask Joe a couple of questions. So if you could explain uh, what position you're running for and um, you know, what does the county legislature do? Like why does county legislature matter? Yeah, so uh, like you said, I'm running for um, Onondaga County Legislature uh, District 15. So it's kind of the legislative branch of our county. Um, you know, like we have county executive, that's kind of like the president um, and county ledge, which makes the, lo the local laws uh, for the county. Um, so the county matters a lot. And the main thing I kind of tell people is that it deals with uh, more than a billion dollar budget. Um, and a lot of people don't realize that. So, you know, making sure that money goes the right places, I think is like really huge. Um, there's also the Department of Social Services that does a lot for people, you know, um, organizes food stamps and WIC, um, runs Medicaid, Social Security. Um, welfare eviction uh, assistance, which is we're going to see, you know, some issues with evictions soon. Um, so that's going to be a big problem. Um, child and family services. So like mental health, which we need more, more mental health um, services, substance abuse um, services with uh, disabilities. There's the sheriff's department, um, which, you know, we talk a lot about um, like police reform or police transformation really. Um, but kind of the sheriffs kind of get left out of that conversation. So the sheriffs is a big one. Um, and just our environment, you know, dealing with our environment, drinking water, air quality, all those things that kind of make um, a society a good place to live, you know, so. Cool, thank you, Joe. Uh, welcome again to here in our little space. Um, so we also wanted to know a little bit, obviously we know you as a comrade uh, for a long time, um, but people, others don't know you. So we would like to know a little bit, if you could tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, where you're from and why you joined DSA. Yeah, so um, I'm a 29 year old, uh, I'm a physics teacher. Um, I taught at Corcoran for five years and now at Nottingham for a year. Um, this is my first year at Nottingham. Um, I'm from Jamestown, New York, um, which is Western New York, um, kind of out in the middle of the boonies uh, in a trailer park. I actually grew up a lot of my life in a trailer park out there. Um, but my mom and me and my mother moved up uh, to Onondaga County when I was 17. Um, and uh, I went to Oswego at that time, got my degree in physics. Um, and now, um, then I also went back and got my degree in um, teaching and now I'm teaching. Um, I joined DSA um, just because I wanted real change. Um, I felt like um, a lot of the political establishment, they, uh, they have a lot of wishes and they tell you they're going to change a lot and you really believe it and then it doesn't really end up happening. And I, I wanted to change the root cause, um, which I noticed uh, the root cause for 
many of these issues that we can talk about is capitalism. So um, that's kind of why I joined BSA. Do you do you remember when you joined BSA? Um, that's a good question. Um, I want to say I joined like right after Bernie in 2016, which I think most people did. Um, but I started getting like pretty heavily involved in maybe like 2007, late 2017 and early 2018. Great. And where just maybe a couple of other questions where I mean, we we in our chapter, right, each um, the SA group in a city is called a chapter and uh, in the chapter that we have, we work in committees, right? And you've been active, um, where have, like, what are the topics that you have been active in and within our chapter? Yeah, I think when I first started, um, I was really in interested in climate change, um, being a science person, like I'm a physics teacher. So um, just knowing about climate change and trying to stop it, um, I was involved in our eco-socialist committee um, a lot. Um, and then I think I trans kind of transitioned a little bit over to the electoral committee um, where, you know, we ran races, um, we campaigned for people um, from Cynthia Nixon, Bernie, Cynthia Nixon, um, local people for the race I'm running right now, two years ago for Missy. Um, so um, I think, yeah, I think I started off kind of more with um, environmental, but I kind of switched over to electoral. Cool. And then final question would be, what do you do for fun? And uh, do you have any hobbies? What is um, Yeah, I, uh, I love to snowboard. I think that's like um, the main thing that kind of gets me out in the winter. And, you know, we have some grueling winters up here and you can be stuck in your house for a long time. So um, just getting out and snowboarding. Um, I've been trying to read a little bit more um, and I love to play video games too. I think that's, you know, something a lot of young, young people do. <laughs> Um, to kind of relieve a lot of stress. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's mostly what I like to do. You're muted, Brian. <laughs> um, so let's talk about like your campaign a little more. So what are the main topics that you know motivated you to run and that you want to fight for if you win? Um, I mean, personally, like I'm really, um, really involved in, in the labor struggle too. Um, you know, I am in a union and I, I try to do my best to uh, make sure that um, teachers' rights are heard um, within our union and, you know, in our school. Um, so I think that's like the main thing. I really, I really think that um, we need to give more rights to workers um, and that uh, we need to be listening to our workers, especially now during a pandemic uh, when we've seen all this craziness happen. We need to be listening um, to our workers. Um, and like I said before, the environment I think is huge. Um, we're gonna be seeing a lot of effects of environment um, uh, with climate change coming soon. Um, and we're really already here. Um, the other thing is like, um, I saw a lot of kind of segregation when um, I came here to Syracuse and, uh, and saw a lot of environmental racism. Um, and racism in a lot of different aspects of like healthcare and our environment and housing. Um, so I think um, a lot of that I think needs to be changed and that really kind of makes me really passionate, I guess, to get in here. Cause I, I just, I, I feel like, you know, we're in 2021 and this stuff is still happening and it's kind of, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, um, just one other question, like, so um, how has, how have conversations on people's doorsteps gone? Um, this is my favorite part about campaigning. So I I used to be super scared too to go door to door and like go like knock on people's door and be like, hey, I'm you know I'm here and ready to talk to you about issues. And also I like I hated even answering my own door. <laughs> so, um, but I've been having really great conversations with people and and that's like, yeah, that like I said, that's my favorite part. I love talking to people and like getting to know who, who my community members are um, and you know, who's, who my neighbors are. Um, people seem pretty enthusiastic. I think um, people wanna see change. People wanna see um, the change in our county government specifically. And people wanna know about our county government because I think um, it's not very well known. Um, I walk around and people don't really even know who their legislator is, what the county government does. 
Um, so I think having those conversations are really important and like the first step to, you know, democratizing our, our government a little bit more, you know. All right, awesome. So uh, I think we're gonna wrap up there and we'll probably do this again at some point. Um, Oh, maybe in the meantime, oh, yeah. Yeah, an important question would be when are when are the elections happening? Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. Um, I think it's June 23rd right now. So that's the primaries. Um, so I will be primarying. Um, if we win those primaries, we're we're in a good good spot. So um, June 23rd is definitely the time where we're going to be we're going to be pushing pretty hard. Um, so and and what is it that folks have to do again to to be able to vote? So unfortunately, in New York State, which I'm not a big fan of, we have closed primaries, so you can only be a Democrat to um, uh, to vote in the primary. So you have to be a registered Democrat, and you have to be in um, Onondaga County Legislative District 15. So it's a very specific district that um, is the Valley, a little bit of the Valley in Syracuse. Um, it goes up into Strathmore a little bit there, a little bit of the town of Onondaga, and a little bit of the town of Gettys. Gettys. And if folks want to register and vote for you, can they like maybe, can they do it online? Can they register online? So unfortunately we did pass the registration deadline. It was um, February 14th, I think it was, and they might've extended it like a few days, but so now we can't, but you can always come out and you can help me, you know, volunteer and um, get some people out here just to talk and knock doors and get more um, Democrats, especially those who, um, haven't been out to vote really, you know. Uh, I think if we get those people who haven't been out to vote, um, then we should be good. Yeah, so I think I will post in the comments the, the volunteer form so people can learn how to get involved in the campaign. And, you know, we're gonna be you know, sharing that information on our page as well in general and um, again and again, so. Um, hopefully well, people will see that and so check that so you know how to get involved you know right now collecting signatures so we uh, so Joe can get on the ballot and um, but there's gonna be more after that because you know DSA has always been strong with grassroots campaigning door-to-door -door campaigning you know neighbor to neighbor and um, that's what our plan is to uh, support the campaign. We actually have, sorry, we actually have a question in our, oh, so question. yeah, Tammy's asking, what endorsements do you have? Um, so far I have DSA and I have um, uh, the Working Families Party endorsement. So those are two, I'm working on some others. I'm hoping some local unions know that I'm, you know, a dedicated union, union member and um, will give me that endorsement. Cool. And um, another person, Twiggy, is, um, I think she's referring to the um, voting period, which is June 22nd, I think she said. Oh, is it June 22nd? Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, she commented that, so I would guess that. <laughs> Thanks for the correction there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks, Joe, for coming. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. See you soon. And hopefully you win. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Thank you. All right.